One of the invertebrates that we carry that's really taken off in popularity in the last five or six years is the vampire crab. Um, this is a, not a specific one species. It's a whole genus, Geosisarma, that's found throughout Indonesia and the Sunda Islands. Um, they're terrestrial crabs, so that's actually something I wanted to talk about where not a lot of information online is uh, correct about these guys. and A lot of stores don't necessarily know how to keep them, so I wanted to educate a little bit about what the best way to keep these guys is how to sell them and how to house them properly in a store setting. So these guys are found in hillsides, nearby small shallow streams. Uh, they're found in tropical jungle, but also sometimes at altitude where you've got, a, it's a little bit cooler. And again, they tend to be found under the canopy like in dense areas of jungle. So um, they don't prefer super warm temperatures. I find that they do best between like 76 and 78. And we keep them here in a very simple setting as an aquarium with no water in it. So we have a water reservoir that we give them and every day I'll go through and spray them down very thoroughly to both rinse waste away and get it out of their tank because they do really need a clean environment and also make sure they're hydrated. Um, so you almost wanna keep these guys like you would an amphibian, like a tree frog. Uh, they're great for little bioactive terrarium setups. They do really well with plants and like bromeliads and ferns. Um, they'll climb around, they're super interesting to watch. And they're actually little predators, which is cool. They'll eat a lot of different things, but if you give them um, pinhead crickets or fruit flies, they'll go after them and hunt them, which is really neat to watch. Uh, another thing that's really cool about these guys is they will breed in captivity and they carry the fully formed little baby crabs on their back. It looks like mites at first, they're really tiny, but um, it's not surprising if you have males and females in the same enclosure to see miniature little vampire crabs showing up here and there. And uh, that's really cool to see. We got a new species in this week from one of our suppliers in Indonesia called the tomato crab. So the names are really difficult because there's probably about two dozen undescribed species, as well as uh, I believe more than 10 described species in the genus. So it is tricky to get a proper ID on some of them. I do my best to get identification on the ones that we can, but for undescribed species, we just go by where they came from and what the supplier calls them. And these guys live up to their name. They're beautiful, vibrant red with yellow eyes. Um, these guys came in really healthy and really active, which is nice to see. They're not lethargic at all, and they're doing really well um, in our tanks here. You can see they're really agile, really fast moving, quick little guys, and um, they're quite at home on land. So, you know, don't, you don't wanna keep these submerged like you would with some other crabs that are uh, partially terrestrial or fully aquatic. These guys need just a little bit of water but just make sure it stays clean at all times. Um, they're definitely susceptible to issues with where the water quality is not good or they're surrounded by their own waste. Look at those little eyes. Just an awesome little animal. Really unique, alert, and they're very interactive. Even though they're shy at first, they'll learn to come out when there's food around and when they see you, they're, they're always watching what you're doing. A few species that we're really excited to offer, this is the second or third time I've had these come in is the banana crab. And these are another terrestrial crab that are much bigger than the vampires. And that beautiful uniform orange color is super cool. They're a little bit aggressive, as you can see, not quite as easy to hold on to as those little vampire crabs. But these guys come to us from Borneo, and um, they're one of a few species that were recently described in this genus. Uh, again, habitat pretty similar to the vampire crabs, where they're on dry land. They do burrow. Um, they'll do well with like terrestrial plants, ferns, um, a nice, you know, any kind of nice terrarium setup would be perfect for these guys. They got pretty forceful claws. The males, you can definitely tell the males from the females because that one big claw. Uh, and they're pretty quick with them too. They've got me a couple times. So I'm being a little bit cautious holding them up, but these are really interesting. Just something different that might grab customers' attention and get them excited about something a different aspect of the hobby.